Hi guys, welcome to my next Let's Play. This will be my first Let's Play using my HD capture card. And as you can see, it is an Xbox 360 game. But is it a disc-based game? No. Browse games. Where where they put put stuff these days? No, I don't want to like look at the games. I want to go to my games. Ugh. Terrible. Yes, we are going to be playing Dust and Elysian Tale. Definitely one of the best games I have played this year or or all time like I just love this game so much so I've made a I've made a oh shit, fuck me so I have made a new account so we can track our ach achievements during our game play and we'll take it from there okay so dust and Elysian tail Yes, my hard drive. Who uses the cloud? Like, seriously? No one. So, uh, pretty simple. We just start the game. And we pick a difficulty. Um... I, I would... Maybe we should do, like, normal, but I'm gonna... I'm just gonna go hardcore, just because I'm crazy. Probably gonna die a few times, maybe? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Our world has fallen to fade. Its great works long since complete. Its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob stood no chance, and the soldier showed no mercy. But despite his victories, his skills, his ruthlessness, the valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single child. Dust, dust, arise. What? A talking sword? What are you? Only that which you have summoned. Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise, and claim the blade of Ara. Stop! Stop right there! And who is she? Me? I'm Fidget, guardian of the sword. No offense, but aren't you a bit, well, small? For a guardian, I mean. Hey, I just look after that thing. After 200 years, nobody expects a sword to just fly off and start, you know, talking. I'm kind of wishing somebody told me this was part of the job description. Or maybe they did, and I just wasn't paying attention. Mm, yeah, that happens sometimes. I'm sorry, I think I misheard before. You said your name was Fidget? Hey, this isn't about me. You're the one who's got my sword. How about you tell me your name? I'm... Uh... Calm yourself, Fidget. His name is Dust, and he is the one who woke me from my slumber. So, Fidget, then? That's me, and you're... Dust? It would seem that way, though I can't recall that name. So, what is this sword? I am the Blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yes, well, that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword, Fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I... I, I challenge you! The winner gets the sword! Well, I... All right, all right, you win. 
But don't think I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. But, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing, you know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Hara? The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside, and from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. I didn't even do anything. Why do I get an avatar award? Oh well, <laughs> can't complain about getting stuff for nothing. Alright, so, we finally get to actually do something in this game. So, you can probably see, it is a, well, side-scroller, but, you know, unlike Mario, it's not really a platformer. It's more of a hack-and-slash type game. Lots of enemies, lots of stuff to blow up, it's all good. Uh, and the backgrounds are just amazing in this game, like, I just, they blow me away every time I play this game, so amazing. So here we are in our first area, the Glade. There's only about, there's only a couple of areas, I think, they're really, there's not that much, like, there's a few, like, side questing areas, but when it comes to main areas, I think there's only about, like, five or something, something like that, I don't know. What is it, Fidget? Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense, and there's something just ahead. Oh, what is it, Fidget? Fidget is so useless. Like, she'll tell you there's treasure, but like, it could be like anywhere in like the whole like area, and we get achievements for doing like nothing, pretty much. Gotta love achievements, don't you? Rewarding me for the stupidest of tasks. So anyway. Our map in the top right corner there. All right, we found a chest. Don't interrupt me. Correction, we found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key then. Oh boy, this game is just full of hilarious dialogue. I love it. It's like, everything about this game is just amazing. Oh, more achievements. Gee, I feel like I can just like waltz through this game in like five seconds of all these achievements it's just handing out. <laughs> uh, right, where was I before that cutscene interrupted me? Right, right, the map. So as you can see in the top right, that map... It's like, the areas are really big. Oh, here's more cutscenes. Look at the deer, they're so cute. <laughs> deer. Ah! Calm yourself, Fidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. Alright, so here's our first combat. I, I will get to that, explaining that map. I will. It's gonna happen. So anyway, combat, combat. You can just do regular X combos like this if you want. Nothing too spectacular. <sighs> Nobody said anything about monsters. Strange. Where did I learn these skills? You wield the blade of Ara, and with it, all the skills imbued therein. Uh, hello? Monsters? Is that why I summoned you? To control this power? It is unlikely, Dust, that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. There is a village beyond these woods. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters? Fidget. I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <sighs> and to think, this morning started off so well. At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're gonna need them. So where was Fidget even carrying those around? She just gave me five healing items. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, here's a save point. Saves automatically when you go through them, it adds it to your auto-save file. 
very handy. Uh, if you're not playing on hardcore, they'll also heal you, but on hardcore, we are not going to get healed by them at all. So, here's the regular X combo, like it's saying up the top. It just kind of hits them away, nothing too powerful. Well, it sort of is good, but you'll leave yourself open if you do this. And we're on hardcore, we really do not want to get hit. At this point in the game, we'll take like two hits and we're dead, because we've got like no defensive items. So, I would do something else, but I'm waiting for it to tell me something else, because through this area, you get like a bunch of tutorials. Like, here we go, okay. So if we do XXYY, we do like this thing where we grab them and smash them to the ground. It's a lot stronger. That's, that like, these like ground smashes do a lot of damage. But like, but again, that kind of leaves you open, which is why I prefer to do the air ones. Which I don't think it actually tells us how to do. Uh, it probably does somewhere. I just think I did what's going to tell me next, the um, jumping up attack thing, which is just an X then Y. There we go. Rising Phoenix. And then you can attack them while you're in the air, do a ground smash, or grab them and throw them to the ground and smash into everything below, and which just destroys. This, this is definitely my preferred method of fighting it on hardcore. Just do air combos and smash them to the ground. Your chances of getting hit are minimal, and... Yeah, we really don't want to die, so... And it does good damage too, so it's a kind of... All-around win. But enough of that, so... Oh, here we go, here's a cool ability. Oh dear, Dust. You have unlocked a new ability. Bear witness to the Dust Storm. I like it. Hold Y to perform the Dust Storm, but beware. Skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. In that case, maybe I can help. If you press B, I'll perform an attack so spectacularly awesome that it'll produce emotions you didn't even know existed. Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. Real useful fidget. That was, uh, very pretty. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The Dust Storm can manipulate fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Observe. Now that's more like it. That can do some serious damage. Wow! Oh, by the way, every time I use my power, it will use up a bit of energy meter. You can recharge the meter with melee combos. Yes, Dust. Between your combos and Fidget's own powers, you can achieve a higher hit chain, which will yield bonus experience after each battle. However, if you are struck by an enemy, the chain will be broken, and you will lose your bonus experience. All right, I think I understand. If this is all too much for you, you can check out the help screen via the pause menu by pressing start. Thanks, Fidget. I'll take a look if I'm ever in trouble. Gotta love all these, like, mentions of buttons and stuff. All this fourth wall breaking. Ah, so I suppose that we should use our new ability, huh? So, if we'll I hold down Y to do the dust storms, mash B a couple of times, we'll let go a roaring amount of I don't even know what to call those. Let's just call them, um, magic balls. <laughs> Lots of them, and it'll blow crap up. But right now, it doesn't really do that much. Only Each hit only does one damage. Then again, my sword attacks don't really do that much better. So at this point of the game, that's actually pretty good. But when we, once, when we start leveling up, <laughs> one damage will be like nothing. Uh, and getting equipped. Equips are the more... Like, in this game, you get you level up, you get stats from that, but equips are definitely where the majority of your stats will come from. If you take all your stuff off, you'll still be really weak. It's obviously not as weak as I am now, later in the game. What What's that for? Look at these damn achievements. Like, what do we got? Pick up an ability orb, unlock a treasure chest, use the dust storm on fidgets projectiles. Oh, that was a 200 hit combo? Oh, cool. Did not realize that. So, trudging through this area, we will come to a saving point. And that will be all for this episode, I guess, because there's a bit of more shit 
ahead and that'll take up a lot of time, so it's best to end it now. And I'll talk about that map next time, I swear, and I'll, I'll give you my thoughts on that next time. So being it being the ep end of the episode, that means it's time for question of the episode. Today's question is, what games have you played that like just have stunning visuals that you love so much? Share your thoughts with me in the comments and I'll see you next time. Take care.